<sighs> Hello everyone. How is everyone doing? It is not a joke. It is not a drill. You legitimately see exactly what is up. So let me see. I'm trying to make sure that I'm like it's loaded, but it's saying I'm on, but it's not saying I'm on. Okay, I'm on. Uh, half Archie, thank you for the follow. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, if you are in the chat, and hopefully not a bot. So. Yeah, thank you guys for coming. Um, I'm only running late because I just took a shower. I have legitimately just got on. Um, I don't have most of my stuff even set up. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's going to be a stream, isn't it? Um, I need to find a Pokemon Crystal. Um thing and I need to load up my virtual boy and I uh, it's so much stuff so I always can chat with you guys till um while I get everything started so um for those who are new to the channel um definitely welcome uh I am Harpy Player Joe and when I am on Twitch I am Playing nothing with video games. Let's be real. I am playing nothing with video games. I should have a file for Pokemon Crystal. I do. So yeah, Pokemon Crystal version. Uh, you should hear it in just a few seconds. Okay, perfect. It's working. Well, hopefully it's working. Um, yeah. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you guys for watching. Coming. Um, my name is Harvey Player Joe. I'm a YouTuber. Well, I'm a content creator for YouTube and Twitch. Uh, when I'm on YouTube, it's a ton of a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and when I get to Twitch, it's basically a no holds barge of anything, everything that I um, want to stream. So I hinted at this when I was playing Pokemon. Was I playing Yellow? No, I was playing Pokemon Red version. Um, and I decided to basically go ahead and play Pokemon Crystal, because why not? You know, it is it's something. People love Pokemon, and um, I was streaming, I think yesterday or the day before, I was streaming Pokemon Unite, and it, yeah, it's one of those things I'd rather play it on the Switch, huh? But, yeah, we're here. We're gonna be playing some some Pokemon. Um, the reason why I don't have the main feed up right now is because I'm actually getting ready to share on social media that I will be playing Pokemon. Uh, Crystal. Um, I am a huge Pokemon fan. It's one of the many RPG S style games. Well, I um here's the with Pokemon, do you call it a JRPG or is it just a regular RPG? For me, I feel like it's both because Pokemon has a lot of RPG aesthetics. It has a lot of Pokemon. Like, Pokemon itself is an RPG. To me, it's always been an RPG. And I feel like it's more so the... I don't know, like, where, where you stand with Pokemon as an RPG, I guess, defines how you are as a, a fan. But not really, because... Like, it's, it's a mixture of things, because some people think Pokemon isn't an RPG, and I'm like, but it has a lot of the RPG styles and elements. Um, you know, it, I honestly say it's still an RPG, because you have a, an, you have a team, you guys do different, you have different team members who do different tactics, um, you have an overworld sprite, you have encounters, you have, um, you know, boss battles, you have legendary boss battles, which are the legendary Pokemon. Um, you have, of course, an antagonist. You have a rival. You know, you have all these things that just makes Pokemon Pokemon. 
something glue on me. Oh, no, it's a piece of string. Okay. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I wanted to do today. Oh, God. Uh, and I did hint at this uh, when I was playing Pokemon Red version, which is on my YouTube channel right now. Um, I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to play Yellow, but I, I'm not Yellow. I wanted to play um, Crystal. I just wanted to give myself time because RPGs are very long. And uh, I know a lot of people can agree with me with this. When you're playing RPGs, a lot of it is going to be grind heavy. So there's going to be a lot of episodes, or I mean sessions, where I'm going to get grind happy. And uh, where do I even begin with Gen 2? I I wanted to play Gen 2. I, the better experience, of course, is Hard Gold Soul Silver because there isn't a lot of the bullshit. And there's a lot of things that, mechanical-wise, they fixed in Gen 4. Unfortunately, we're going to get the original experience, so level grinding is going to be an ass. And if I do face red, uh, it's going to be a fucking night slaughter. Because that's literally what it is with the run. Uh, so, Pokemon Crystal Session 1. No. Yeah, so I've already picked a majority of my team, if anyone wants to know. Um, there's a lot of things with Gen 2 that I don't mind going over because it is Generation 2. Gen 2 itself um, is already a buggy mess, and there's so many buggy messes about Gen 2. Like, if anything, if you've ever seen or heard reviews about this game, 95% of it is true in terms of its overall just everything. Like, it's one of... Generation 1 and 2 are probably the most buggiest things about the Pokemon series that a lot of people only really go back to Gen 2 or 1 just to relive the nostalgia. And then remember there are better versions of them, or the better, or the next game after was just a lot better. Um, yeah, we're legitimately going to be playing Generation Two, and I chose Crystal over uh, Gold and Silver because there are a lot of things that Gold and Silver are going to exponentially. We're gonna lose a lot of Pokemon. Um, this is, of course, the second game in the series to feature, um, to be a, a two-on-one. Well, maybe not a two-on-one, but it's like, it's the third game of the series. Everyone refers to it as the Crystal, or the Emerald. And that's simply because Pokemon Crystal was the second game in, what was, one, two, it was the sixth game in the main series. Uh, this was right in the smack dab in the middle of Gen 2 being Gen 2. Um, most people who have um, experienced Gen 2, this is actually their first Pokemon game. If it wasn't red, blue, or yellow, um, if you were in the States, if you, well, in, you were international. If you were, say, someone who lived in Japan, or you lived in Asia, then your first games were Pokemon Red, Green, Blue, Yellow. Because we never got green here, we only got yellow. And, yeah, that was a thing. That legitimately was a thing. Um, with the yellow version. Okay, I'm switching to the main feed. I want to get my window capture ready. Uh, where is there? It's virtual play. Alright. So, I gotta fix the Virtual Boy setup, too, because, um, my Virtual Boy was not like this originally. Um, I was playing Pokemon Unite yesterday, and, uh, my screen kind of took a bit of a fort because, um, Landscape Mode is not your friend. I am not your friend when it comes to Landscape Mode. I should also say that. Okay. Uh, let me make sure my alert box is in the right area. It's okay, there's my chat box. 
Okay, there's my alert box. Okay, so we should be good. Um, I also need to make sure that my controller is set. Where's my controller? Where's my controller? Um, Dragon configure, configuration one. So, yeah, I'm basically doing a software regular because I am not dealing with, um, a, B, yeah, I'm definitely not dealing with, um, a lot of other issues that are in regards to, um, getting my, GameCube, I'm getting, getting my games and stuff together, cause, yeah, yeah, if anyone who's ever watched one of my live streams, you know I was having some issues earlier, um, with a lot of my games, so, yeah, but, uh, this is the Pokemon Generation 2 Crystal version. This is the third game in the series to feature a legendary Pokemon, and is the first in the game series to ma make you mandatorily get the legendary. So you have Crystal to make for this, and I I love Crystal's opening. Uh, I know a lot of Let's Players do uh, a lot of stuff with Pokemon Crystal, but um, yeah, we're gonna be playing some Pokemon. Uh, I need to fix my options. Type speed needs to be fast. We will have... No, that's slow. Fast. We will have battle scenes on. We will have battle style as shift. We will have found in stereo or mono. We'll do mono. Uh, print normal. Main menu on. Frame screen. Uh, this is the first game to feature frames for your screen. I believe there's only eight. Yeah, there's only eight. The classic style. Uh, you have the little betas that were there, you have the classic bold, you have the bold spiral, you have uh, wiggly lines, you have boxes on the end, you have curved in, you have a base frame, but for this, I'm going to do my favorite, and that is the virals. Um, Pokemon Crystal itself is going to be a whole new fucking experience for starters. Uh, they ask you, are you boy or girl? Technically, yes, I am boy, but uh, because of canonically how this girl is, I mean, how this game is in the reference to the character itself, we're actually going to play as a female character. This is the first game in the Pokemon series to feature a female character. Um, said our clock is actually n not day, it's actually night. Um, it is six o'clock. How many minutes? It is... Uh, we're gonna say it's 19 minutes now, and then, yeah, it's 619, no wonder it's so dark outside. Yeah, you get different text boxes when you enter in information for a Pokemon Crystal, but, yeah, there's the man himself, Professor Oak. He will be our guide in the intro of the Pokemon games. He does this for basically red, blue, green, yellow. Uh, gold, silver, crystal, fire, red, leaf, green, I believe Pokemon heart, gold, soul, silver, and then Pokemon, let's go Eevee and Pikachu. Let's go Eevee, let's go Pikachu. Um, of course, we all get the intro of a brand of Pokemon that appears. Uh, they chose Wooper for this. I believe in the original it was Meryl, which was a callback to the whole Pika Blue scenario that was going around. Yeah, we're going to be uncovering a whole lot of stuff here in the Pokemon universe. Um, but first off, of course, we're going to name our, our character. So, if you are a fan of the Pokemon series, then you know that this girl, canonically, her name is Crystal. Um, I believe the names that are here are based off of the various prototype names they gave her. Uh, Juana, I believe, is her, is one of the names that was suggested for the Spanish translation, which is adorable. And also a nice callback to some call me Johnny and, uh, his friends on it, his brother and, and Matt on SGV when Juana appeared, because uh, his name is Juan, and the female variant of his name would be Juana. For this version, we are of course going to call her Crystal, um, just because canonically with Pokemon games, I do like to call um, the Pokemon trainer by their name, depending on who I am playing. Uh, in Generation 3, if I do ever get to, um, Gen 3, uh, Pokemon Trainer, 
boy or girl, it will most likely depend on which trainer I decide to choose. Most likely it will be boy for some various reasons. But that is all of the heads. Crystal is ready. It is time for her to go on her journey as a Pokemon trainer. But yeah, you get to play as a girl. This is the first time in the Pokemon series where anyone has ever played Pokemon, who ever known as Pokemon, to play as a girl. Also, color! Pokemon, uh, art. Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal were the first three games to introduce color frames and styles to the Pokemon series. Uh, hi, Mom. This Crystal is our neighbor. Um, he's looking for you. He said he wants you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot your Poke Gear is at from the repair shop. Here you go. Yes, this is the Poke Gear. This is the first time we get an additional item to your menu screen. Um, basically, we'll go over tutorials and stuff too, because why not? So it's actually not. It is actually a private. So, Mom, um, is there daylight savings? Yes. So, yes. Alright. So, adjust the clock for daylight savings. Uh, do you not use your phone? Yes. Okay, don't you need to. She's gonna tell you anyway, but in your menu, there is a, um, there'll be options to select your Pokemon, your Poke Gear. Your Poke Gear will have a phone icon, which you can call other people. You can store numbers in there, and you can call whatever you want. It's very convenient. Um, other things they don't tell you about the Poke Gear is you can only hold up to a certain amount of uh, numbers in your phone. I believe there's a total of six. One of them will include Mother. Uh, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver uh, changed that and allows you to interact with multiple trainers and your um, numbers do not go down. There's also a way you can uh, interact with your screen so you can know what time it is um so yeah and i believe this lady here is the boy trainer's mother um if you did not choose uh the girl it would be her mother but yeah and i also believe she's professor elm's wife yeah professor elm has a wife and i think a child too but yeah welcome to new bark town this is the first town in the Jojo region the Johto region is basically a region full of Pokemon that were mildly discovered by Professor Oak, and he's basically asking you to go out there and, and track them down. But we'll see. Oh, Glaber Pikachu is an evolution. I was amazed. It was an amazed. I was amazed by Professor Oak's finding. I mean, Professor Elm's finding. He's also doing his research on Pokemon evolution. Huh. I wish I could be a researcher just like him. Yeah, Pokemon Professor Elm. Like Oak studied Pokemon, Elm studied evolution. It was a trend actually for many of the Pokemon, um, train, not trainers, but Pokemon professors, other things that they do. Uh, this is Professor Elm's house. This is, of course, his wife. Um, and that is, I believe, his son. And when I grow up, I want to help my dad. I want to be a great Pokemon professor. So yeah, this is Elm's house. This is where Elm sleeps. Um, Professor Elm's house is not as detailed as later gens will do and i know because of the rpg itself there's a lot of games you know it's just basic simple rpg style of enter home home looks very basic but you know that you know it's, it's a lot more beautiful than it's shown uh wow your folk here is impressive uh did your mom get it for you actually yes she did here this guy uh, we can interact with him, but he's going to, of course, this is a famous Professor Elm in Pokemon Live. What are you staring at? Yeah, and he kicks you out. Yeah, he's a douchebag. But anyway, uh, we'll interact with him momentarily, but this is Professor Elm. This is, of course, the professor of the Johto region. He wants you to conduct some research for him with Pokemon. As you can see, there are three Pokeballs, just like any generation, and you're able to pick one of these fantastic Pokemon and take them with you. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna, of course, say yes to, and I think you have no choice but to say yes. Uh, otherwise, Elm will basically, uh, uh, bribe you into doing it. But, yeah, so, uh, Professor Elm got an email saying that, uh, Professor the uh, he has a friend called Mr. Pokemon. Mr. Pokemon is keeping a rare item, and he would like for us to go pick it up. Um, so, he will entrust us with a Pokemon to go and obtain said item. 
uh, it is actually pretty much a, a remnant of Generation 1, if you really think about it. So, here on the table, we have a plethora of Pokemon. First, is Cinequil, this region's fire starter. Um, Cinequil, we can take, he is a fire type Pokemon. Cinequil is actually really cool. Um, he is pure fire type throughout his evolution. He has really good stats all around. Unfortunately, because this is Generation 2, all of his attacks are special, and he's more so the physical fighter. But he can be used just like many other fire type Pokemon as a mixed attacker, depending on what his stats are. Uh, next up is next to him is Totodile, the water starter for this generation, the Crocodile Pokemon. I think the Big Jaws Pokemon is thing. Uh, Crocodile, I mean Crocodile. Uh, Totodile through its evolution line is a very good mix attacker as well. There's a lot of physical and special stats, but because this is generation 2, it's going to be prone to more special, which is not bad for Totodile, because Totodile is actually a really good Pokemon, and in later generations gets a lot better. Then there is the Pokemon to the right, the last of the Johto starters, my least favorite and probably the only adorable one for most people's taste. This is Chikorita, the pure grass type of Gen of the Gen Two starters. Chikorita is not good, um, which I also think is ironic because they have the next to attach to Chikorita is pure grass throughout its evolutions, unlike the previous gen that gave us, um, Bulbasaur, who was grass poison. Although it can learn a few poison moves, Chikorita is not a really good Pokemon. For many of the observations of gym leaders that stand in your way in the Johto region, if this was Kano, at least you'd be good up until Eric, because you could resist most of, and I say most of, the Pokemon moves that she would throw. Other than that, Chikorita is probably the most forgettable grass type Pokemon I've ever known, and I kid you not, you were better off with other grass types within the next couple of regions as starters. But there's also the other thing. Grass type Pokemon are all over. And in most gens, you really don't need a grass type. And if you did, there's so many various options. So the grass starter kind of just sits there in the background unless you wanted a grass type early on to do a lot of things that you don't really could. So with that, no, I am not choosing Chikorita. I am going to play the safe route like many other Pokemon players, and I am going to choose the Fire Starter. Um, fire type Pokemon in, in Crystal in general is going to be very scarce. Um, unfortunately, because the lack of Fire type is a thing in Gen 2, especially early Gen 2, most people will go for Cyndaquil. Um, also, gender were introduced in this gen. I don't think I'm really going to talk about genders until I get to, um, until I get to Goldenrod and the Pokemon daycare, but I'm going to name my Cyndaquil Blaze. There's a reason why I'm naming this Pokemon Blaze, that is simply because it has a, um, it's a fire type, it fire blazes. Um, first item tells us about Cherry Grove, which is next to the over, directly through the route, you can't miss it. And just in case, he'll give you his phone number. So, in case you need something from Professor Elm, or he needs something from you, uh, Elm will call you. Uh, you can also heal your Pokemon, this is the first time in the Pokemon series, where the Professor will have a Pokemon machine, just like the Pokemon Center, to heal your Pokemon. I believe you can go up to the machine and say would you like to get your Pokemon, and bam, there you go, your Pokemon is healed. So, Cyndaquil, as we actually go to pack, we now have the part of the menu that says Pokemon. Uh, po party PKM stats, this is actually something that was added also to Crystal, is mini text. Uh, anywhere on the menu where you would see a particular, uh, Action of things open. It says a uh, party Pokemon party status. You have the pack which contains Pokemon items. The trainer's key device, the Poke Gear, your own stats, the uh, crystal, which is your name. Uh, the save feature, which you save your pro your, uh, save your progression. The options to change the settings and of course exit to exit this menu. Uh, for the rest of the game, I just wanted to shut it off now, but we're going to be taking the menu account off 
So, because it gets very annoying. But, yeah, here is, of course, uh, your trainer information. That is a picture of you. That was when you have your Pokemon trainer ID, the amount of time you played. And the, in just like any generation, the eight gym leaders in who they are. This is basically a precursor to tell you who, what they look like in terms of their sprites. Um, they don't look like this in their, they look like this in their full sprites, but not in their overall sprites. But, yeah, that's all eight of them. That is, uh... Faulkner, Bugsy, Whitney, Morty, Chuck, Jasmine, Price, and Claire. Those are the eight gym leaders of the Johto region. Um, with that in tow, um, I think we have everything we need to go. There's nothing really much in our pack. We don't have anything. But also, this is something new for Generation 1. Generation, I mean, Generation 2. After Generation 1's clusterfuck, uh, they decided to create what's called a bag in the pockets for the bag. So we're in the items, there's balls, there's key items, there's TM and HM slots. Uh, this was a first change in Gen 3 when they added the berry pocket um, to give you an item for space for your berries. And they expanded all of these aces so where you can hold more items than just 99. But yeah, that's basically everything here we can go over. And of course, your Pokemon. Uh, if you click on your Pokemon, you'll be able to see your Pokemon. Uh, unlike Generation 1, you're able to see what's called the Experience Bar. That's the thing right there on, on the lower right-hand side. Uh, you also see your level up, your experiences, what type you are, your status to see if you're okay or not. Uh, which the status says is okay. Your HP in the HP bar, which looks awesome. There's also the items. Yes, you can hold items. Your Pokemon in Gen 2 and above are able to hold items. If you do move certain Pokemon from Generation 1, some of them may have a held item. One good example is Pikachu from Yellow Version, who will always be holding a light ball. That increases Pikachu's special stats. Yes, Pikachu's special stats. Not Raichu or Pichu, um, for the fact that the light ball is an exclusive item to, of course, the Pokemon mascot, Pikachu. You also get to see here your moves in the power points, or PP, of that move. And then, for Generation 2, uh, we have the stats. These stats have now changed in Gen 2, but we have attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. Um, while attack, defense, and speed are things that are common to many RPGs, your special attack and special defense are basically um, your magic block and your magic stack. Um, if that's really good RPG um, integration to tell you how these work. So, attack and defense are basically based on your physical attack and your physical defense. Your speed is basically to tell how fast you are, if you will go first or second. Your special attack is, of course, your magic stat, and your special defense is your magic block. While these are all great stats, some Pokemon specialize in the other in things that others don't. For instance, you can tell that uh, Centaquil specializes in special attack and it's good speed. While his base attack, defense, and special defense are all kind of on their own. In later generations, you're able to accumulate what stats are good for your Pokemon with a lot of the in-game NPCs, but we won't see most of them till later on, which we're actually introducing this game. For good measurement, uh, when you press Pokemon, you can press stats, which move an item. Uh, for item, we can give or take. I'm actually going to take the item, which is the berry. Uh, berries are one of many of the held items in Gen, in Gen 1, and for that reason, we're actually going to go to the Pokemon Bag, where you can actually see this. As a self-restoration item, and it gives 10 uh, HP. Uh, here's the thing. Items like this are always random, so you never know when I'm going to be, when I'm going to activate, and because I want to play it safe, I'm going to give my, I'm going to keep the berry in my Pokemon, in my item pack. Uh, other than that, uh, you can give a lot of items to Pokemon, and the berry is a great example of that. I do believe every Pokemon that we will encounter if you were playing the professor, if you were playing the game, all the starters have a berry. And then also, here is this guy. Um, he's one of, prof he's one of Professor Elm's aides, and he gives you a potion. A potion is a really cool item early on in the game. There's tons of uh, items of restoration. Uh, potion, I believe, gives 10 PP? No, gives 20 HP. In later games, it is 30. Yeah, they upped it by 10 in later generations. But, 
yeah, we're here in, uh, we're, yeah, we're here. Uh, so we're actually gonna go talk to our mom. Uh, Professor L wants you to run an errand. That sounds challenging, but you should be proud of the people who can rely on you. And of course, you do have a Pokemon companion. Um, Generation 2 will also feature a few new changes. For one, color! Yeah, all the roots are codified. And, um, I think a lot of the stuff that's run back from Gen 1, uh, is here. You know, you have random encounters, you have your wild Pokemon theme, uh, and of course, you have many of your common mods. The issue with Gen 2 that people like me would say is there's not a lot of variety in Gen 2, sadly. Because Gen 2 played off of what Gen 1 had. You, know, you have your Rattata, you have your Pidgey, you have your Zubat. You know, you have a lot of those things that dwell in a certain location and their evolutions to follow. Um, unfortunately, Generation 1 kind of, Gen 2 kind of didn't really embrace a lot of that. Uh, I believe, what does this dude say? He doesn't say something before, does he? Uh, yo, you're a Pokemon trainer. If you're weak and not ready for battle, then keep out of the grass. Yeah, he's the guy that warns you about Pokemon battle in the grass and stuff. But yeah, grass, uh, grass is 100%, no, is uh, random encounters. I believe, I don't believe what the algorithm is when it says like 80 to 90%. Uh, you're always on your first route, so you're gonna experience what's called the common. These are your com common encounters. Uh, you got Rattata. Rattata's returning from Gen 1. It's it's just your basic normal type Pokemon. Um, it's more of a physical attacker. Later generations, it's not bad either. But it's not good. It does involve an Eradicate. It's evolution pretty early, but Eradicate is kind of... Eradicate's <laughs> meh. Like, there's better options for a normal type, if you ask me, and you get a lot of better options later on. Hoot Hoot! This is Bach. Well, actually, we get to encounter another Generation 2 Pokemon. This is the Pidgey, or I guess you could say the Spearow of Gen 2. Uh, Pidgey is more of the Special Defender. Pidgey is... I mean, Hoot Hoot is more of the Special Defender. Hoot Hoot's lineup and move pool definitely shows that. Um, Hoo's not a bad Pokemon, but, Ooh, excuse me, but later Jin did not help with a lot of the things that Hoo Hoo had to do with. Um, Hoo Hoo's stats are not really good, they're more fun to special, which Hoo Hoo's types do not help with that. Um, Hoo Hoo does gain an evolution in the form of Natal, but Natal's not that good either. Um, they both have access to Psychic Moves, so that does help them with their weakness against fighting. However, they're also flying, so that would flying type would cover it. Also, we learned through Smoke Screen. Yeah, your Pokemon can learn moves upon leveling up, which is another feature from Generation 1. Gen 2 introduces these little gates. Uh, which also sounds similar to Gen 1. This guy tells you here that uh, you can't jump back on ledges, but ledges are for use. Excuse me. To cut you off in certain areas. With that said, um, this is, I believe, Route, uh, route 46. This is Mountain Road Ahead. Here's the thing we won't get to Mountain Road till <laughs> really late in the game. You have early access to this because there are some early you know, Pokemon you can actually access early on. Uh, your random your encounters here are Rattata Common, Hoot Hoot at night, Pidgey at day, um I believe uh Geo Dude is an encounter here, and then your rare encounter is a fan piece. Uh, Fampy is, of course, a Generation 2 Pokemon as well. Fampy's actually really cute. Um, it's blue, it's pink, it's got... It's, it looks like a little elephant. Um, it's pure ground type, so if you want a ground type Pokemon on your team, this is definitely going to catch. However, there is some unfortunate events to Gen 2. Uh, well, like I said, level curve was something that most... that a lot of people hated. Well, move setups were also a thing. If your Pokemon wasn't breeding till its little heart content, um, there was the issue of, um, 
your move set. So in Pokemon, you have ways of learning moves, either through your own means of leveling up, and then waiting for whatever level that your Pokemon will gain a move set. There are um, HMs and TMs. TMs are technical machines. They are items that you can find basically anywhere, and they're given to you by gym leaders, as well as finding them in uh, department stores. Uh, they're one time use in generations one through four, and they are able to teach a Pokemon a new move. Uh, fun fact, Generation 3, uh, revealed that, yes, the TMs are, and HMs are all floppy disks. Um, later, Gen incorporated that, of course, into how they look, and as of Generation 5, um, you can relearn, or you can reteach TMs. Yeah, TMs do not disappear after the one-time use in Generations 4 and 5 and above. Or, um, Unova got rid of the simulations of TMs being, um, not being reusable. Uh, also, we get this beat of the, um, your Pokemon's dying, please heal them music. Um, which I think is gonna keep cut now, because, uh, Blaze level up to level 7. So, yeah! That's a good shit. Um, when I talked about Poo Poo, um, I heard us talk about the day and night special. So, another feature of Generation 2, day and night. Um, uh, you're able to encounter cities and locations either in the day or in the night. Um, Generation 4 really took advantage of that by giving towns and groups different, um, music to fit their aesthetics. And, and to hear, um, you know, all I think. Also, I just thought about it. I can't hear spam pee now. It's nighttime. And spam pee only comes out in the morning. So, sadly, I won't be able to show you guys what spam pee looks like. Um, there is a way I can change the clock, but I ain't doing all that, because I don't want that to be honest. Um, also another thing about Generation 2, battle animations. Uh, Gold and Silver, Crystal's predecessors, did not have battle animations. They were given to Crystal after, um, Crystal, um, came out. Like, Crystal was like, I think, a year after Gold and Silver came out. So, yeah. Gold and Silver, um, god. Jota, when it hit America, it hit, like, the wave it, that of Gen 1 hit. Um, personal opinions about Generation 2, I'm not a big fan of Gen 2. Like, Gen 2 was not legitimately my go-to game when I want to play Pokemon. Um, I only really go here for, quote, nostalgia. Other than that, I kind of really hate most of the other stuff. A lot of things in the gym, too, and I will get to that when we do get to that. However, um, I think one of the big rights here is Gen 1, Gen 2 has Gen 1 walking suit. I heard it was supposed to be sped up a little bit more, but you're not being able to run. I'm just... <sighs> early RPG tropes be like. So, yeah, if you talk to this guy, he will take you around Cherry Grove, and he will, um, give you some points of interest. Pokemon Center, this is where a trainer can go to heal their Pokemon at any time. You know, it's rising, and of course, they're free. Two is the Pokemon, where you can pick up items such as Pokeballs, potions, antidotes, and much more. You can also sell items to give yourself money and to buy items that are useful to help you in your Pokemon. Uh, he also points you to Route 30, um, which is the way out, and there's some trainers there, and you can battle them for prizes. There's also the water route here, where you can find some Pokemon in the water, uh, but we won't be able to do that till we get the TM, the HM for Surf, or the items, um, or the fishing rod item. Anyway, uh, this guy here uh, says this is his house and he gives you a gift. This is a map card. This is an item that can be that is a, a thing for your Pokemon gear. Your Poke gear. It allows you to basically look at a map. 
it is a replacement and it's a god replacement for your town map. So yeah, this is the Johto region, as you can tell. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 points of interest. Uh, kind of similar to how Generation 1 was. Uh, Gen 2's lineup of things starts you off here um, in Johto. And of course, we, as we all know, Kanto is right after you complete your main event, your main tropes to uh, Johto. Uh, with that said, we're going to actually go to Mr. Pokemon's house, which is on Route 30. Uh, so, we've already killed that. Some fun facts. Uh, Gen 2, I mean, Gen 2, Gen 4, um, the map guy, uh, that's what we're gonna call him. Actually, I think he has an official name. He is the Guide Git. Yeah, Guide Git's house. Uh, Git will also give you the running shoes. I believe he gives you the running shoes first, and then he'll allow you to walk around with him and make sure you're back. Uh, these two here, Pokemon gains experience in battle and change form. He's talking about battle and experiences in evolution. Uh, Pokemon change, I would be shocked if one did. Uh huh, maybe we are actually shocked because I've seen new Pokemon game players when they see their little pal change. Uh, let's see, when, when you're going with your Pokemon, going anywhere is fun. That is very true. Um, and then you talk to him, uh, Mr. Pokemon's house is just still further ahead. So yeah, it's really not much to do. This is of course just your secondary. This is like your first town. Like, once you leave your hometown in an RPG, this is basically going to be your main town. I used to visit Jill Hall or Kanto and collect the badges. Today you can tell about the uh, Pokemon League Challenge. Uh, when I get older, I want to be a gym leader. I want to make my Pokemon battle my friends. So they can make them tough to make them tougher yeah this is basically all the things that people want to do here there's not much for us to explore because unfortunately i don't have the hm for surf so we cannot explore the rest of cherry grove in terms of what cherry grove is of course in our goal to also over cherry grove is a lot more beautiful and oh my god it's so pretty and the remixes for it are actually really good as well being the remixes there is going to be a lot of remixes here and a lot of new music track introductions a lot of the remixes, we won't get to the second half of the game, but we do get a lot of tropes here from Gen 1 callbacks, um, which a lot of you are going to be very excited about. Um, one thing that they did change um, throughout the generations is just the random encounters and stuff as well. Uh, we got to this guy, he is a berry master, he will give you a berry, he gives you a berry. Uh, that will restore HP. He also says uh, every day you should check outside his house for a berry. This is a berry tree. It is bearing fruit and you attain it. This is a uh, tree bear, a berry tree. And it's something that you can only do once a day. Um, they added a lot of those in Gen 2 and I hate many of them. The one, the day cycle. Yeah. Uh, only on certain days will certain events occur, unfortunately, uh, they will do that to you in Gen... What's that? I want to say Generation 3, Gen 4, and definitely Gen 5. Did not make a lot of those situations better. But, um, as you continue on through routes, uh, Pokemon, of course, in their levels will get a lot more damage. So, do be careful, and of course, take the chance to level up your mind. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be a long one, guys. Like, I'm already yawning, and we haven't even got to the first gym. Um, also, I think, believe this is probably the, one of the longer tutorials in the game, because you're only with your starter, and once you go to Mr. Pokemon's house, you're basically setting stone for the rest of the game of what, you, what your objectives are, um, if you choose to choose those objectives. I believe Gen 2 and Gen and the Legion, I know for a fact, Generation 3 did a whole once over change um, of how their tutorial was. Uh, so did Gen 4. And I think Gen 4 copied Gen 3 in terms of how it was, but I think their situation was a little better in Gen 4. Uh, Spinarak! Alright, we're encountering our first Pokemon exclusive, our first Generation exclusive setup here. If you're playing. Gold version. 
or you're playing Heart Gold. Spinarak will be your common encounter. This is our first spider Pokemon. Uh, Buck Poison uh, is ironically it in his evolution. Ariados are the only two bugs in the game from Gen 2 that have access to moves that are not normally part of, or associated with their typing. Unless they're specifically Venomoth or Venonat. Yeah, they tried to do that with these two. Um, Ariados, it's evolution, very speedy, really not much in power. It's, they're bugs. The evolution line for bug Pokemon. Although early, can still be pain in half. Um, that's right, Oh no. Uh, we've also been inflicted with a status element. Yeah, um, Spirit are known for being poisonous. Unfortunately, my blaze is going to learn that part way through being poisoned from poison sting, which I believe has a 30% chance of poisoning. Yeah, so it's not poisoning me every turn. Uh, Spinarak itself, I'm shocked, actually has a move on it. But uh, then again, it's Spinarak and it's a poison bug. So, kind of similar to Kakuna, it is going to at least have something to try to defend itself. I mean, not Kakuna, Weedle, it will have something to defend Also, uh, the infinite stream shot is, of course, an infinitely boring and bullshit move from Spinner. Many bug Pokemon that are the common bug type Pokemon actually need to heal. Um, you so I can get you back up. Uh, many common Pokemon, um, in many common bug Pokemon, thank you, in generation, uh, like this one, uh, will only, will have ex the moves. Uh, poison, I mean, it's poison. String Shot. It's so to slow the Pokemon, the opponent's Pokemon down so that you can launch moves on it a little faster. Because uh, we can be everything. Uh, right now, I am trying to speed my ass to a Pokemon Center because, yeah, that flashing light is actually. Oh, there's an antidote, thank God. That flashing light is a uh, poison effect. Yeah, every time you move, Poison will sack the strength out of your Pokemon, even if they're fully healed. Luckily, Generations 2 and above, I mean 3 and above, well, you can 2 and above, because there are some berries that uh, you can give to your Pokemon and it will allow them to cure some of their status elements, such as freezing, burning, paralysis, and uh, yes, sleeping, sleep powder, poison powder. Oh, yeah, there's uh, being poisoned. So, yeah, being paralyzed means you go slow, but you can have the chance of not being able to move. Uh, burst means your attack power is down, and you will be afflicted with damage every turn. Poison, faster strength can you slowly, and every turn you will be damaged. And that's pretty much the gist of it when it comes to, um, the statuses. The only other ones are... Uh, the only other status I have not talked about is Freeze. That is, um, the rarest of the, you know, status effects. Because I never had that issue where, um, oh, a physic cure berry. Uh, this cures your poison. Um, later it's called a, what is it called? Is it cherry berry? I think it's a cherry berry. No, no, I think cherry is the poison. A petcha berry, there we go. A petcha berry is in the form of peach. And uh, the petcha berry cures poison. Uh, this is Mr. Pokemon's house. So then we go inside. Yeah, there's Mr. Pokemon. I can see you Mr. Bristle. A person will say, you're going to be visiting. Uh, I want a person to, to examine this. He gives you our, his mysterious egg. This egg goes into your key pocket. Um, I know a couple who been a Pokemon daycare. And they gave me an egg. I was intrigued when I saw the new Professor I mean, Professor L, uh, for Pokemon Evolution Person, which is the authority. Uh, even Professor Oak recognized it for, uh, some sort of assuming it is correct. Professor L will know it. And of course, this is Professor Oak. Hey, Oak. Ah, so you're the crystal, and you're, I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher, and I'm visiting an old friend. Um,. Mr. Pokemon, I heard you were running an errand, 
first match of him, so I waited here. Ooh, that is a rare Pokemon you have, not sure. Your Sire. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I have the same person getting your Pokemon for running this errand. Uh, to research this alike, Elm and I are Pokemon, are, are, are friends. Uh, so how you treated your Pokemon, uh, Professor Pokemon are the love you're carrying. So, with it doing without, yeah, basically he's gonna give us the Pokedex. It's the latest inch uh, edition of the Pokedex. It is a high-speed encyclopedia that records information on Pokemon. Unfortunately, you gotta get back out there, champ. There's about 150 more Pokemon, and uh, I'll need you to record all of them. Between generations one and two, here is the issue of getting all the Pokemon in this game. In order to complete the full Pokedex with all 251, because we're not stupid, we're not fooling anyone, right? for the original generations one and two, you need to have basically Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, or Green, you know which region you're in, Pokemon Yellow, uh, the Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Crystal, and Pokemon Silver. And I'm pretty sure many of you are asking, well, why do you need all those games? There is a thing called version exclusives. There is a thing called multiple Pokemon that you cannot obtain. And, yeah. That's why a lot of people were... Hmm, hmm. Hmm, Were just, you know, locked in the round. But, um... Yeah, oh, we have a mess from Professor Elm. He said it's horrible and disaster. One of the Pokemon were stolen from the research facility and he wants to get it back, but he wants you but he doesn't tell you this right away. He wants you to head back as soon as possible. So basically, yeah, someone stole one of the Pokemon out at the Pokemon Research Lab. Uh, it's apparently according to the game, uh, it has not technically been an entire day. Uh it's just at night and apparently the uh, events will still occur here if they're day or night. Uh, luckily in some cities, the day and night cycle just changes its image. It's like a filter. Heart Gold and Soul Silver take that shit to a whole new level and it's fucking beautiful and I love it. Well, technically, Diamond Pro and Platinum since they're the Gen 4 game. But, yeah, uh, Gen 4 did an amazing job of, um, setting up everything for us, and I, I, I enjoy it. I really do. Um, right now, the aesthetic, yeah, so, let's get back to the aesthetic. The aesthetic of what the Pokemon game should look like definitely changed throughout the generation. While Gen 3 didn't bring back the day and night cycle, unless you were playing Fat Hat, um, Gen 4 gave us back the day and night cycle, and the fandom, like myself, Rejoice because I love looking at some of the cities during the night time and it sucks because Pokemon red blue and green will never experience that unless you play the You know unless you play the gen 2 games and then you get the experience can't tell like You know which like I said, it's awesome at night And I think it looks really cool but <laughs> Records can be choosers uh, so right now, I'm avoiding the grass by jumping over the hills, and we are making it back to Jerry. Um, I do need to heal because we will have a battle in just a few. Uh, while you're leaving, uh, while you're leaving Cherry Grove to go back to the bark Fun Fun fact, the cities here, um, New Bark, Violet City, Fuchsia, like all of those. Um, Engine 2, the name of the gym leaders are actually based off of their particular type. Um, I'm sorry, not China, the cities. Oh, why did I say type? The cities. The cities are road. <laughs> sorry, I've had a long day of this, okay? I'm very tired. I'm very sleepy. And I'm going to be honest. So, excuse me, I'm from the slot that I want to to yawn during the damn game. I mean, look, Pokemon music is just so good. Also, uh, the return of the PC. So, as you take a look at PC, you see Bill, Crystal, Oak, 
and turn off. Uh, build PC allows you to access your Pokemon. Uh, your Pokemon uh, box. You only have a total of two. You don't have two minis. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Now, the reason why you don't have two minis is simply because of this. Uh, the Pokemon game itself um, only really accounts for you having a certain amount of Pokemon. So, if you were to complete what's called the Living Deck for Generation 1 and 2, you need all the games. Luckily, Bill's PC boxes did expand, and thankfully, Generation 3 fixes it for Gen 4, 5, and for Gen 4, 3, 4, and above. Uh, actually, God, there was so many things. Everything! <laughs> Everything you didn't like about Gen 1, thankfully, each next gen does fix itself capacity. One of the problems everyone had in Generation 2 and 1 is the box saving. I every fucking time. I hate this so. It's like, you want to do something for a thing, it's like, and I hear it running, but that's not me. Anyway, um, yeah, so, while I'm ranting, Bill, uh, is he, is another Pokemon researcher, he's actually a Pokemon fan, um, Bill, overall, uh, just wants you to have a gay all time, and go out there and get some Pokemon. Uh, your PC, um, ironically enough, is just your PC, you just start item thinking. Professor Oak's PC is your, uh, Pokemon Trader. <laughs> it's your, uh, Pokemon Trader. So, if you go in and you say, Hey, Oak, rate my Pokedex. He will legitimately rate your Pokedex, just like he does in Human 1. And he will tell you how good, bad, awesome, evil, beautiful, or anything that your, uh, picture resembles. Anyway, um, on to the most, on to the other thing on here. Uh, box switching is a pain in the ass because if you want to switch from box A to box B, then you have to wait like, for screw it. Um, and then you have to save the game for a long period of time, and it was just too much. So, yeah, that's the thing. And, uh, with that said, I think we can take a look at the PC. <laughs> You have to make your Pokemon um, restoration. So, yeah, basically, you have the same things from last year. You have uh, withdraw, you have deposit, you have change, and then you have move change with um, oh, double O seven. seven. So, yeah, good, good touch, guys. Yeah, um, other than that, I mean, everything else here is the same. So, you withdraw. Uh, dispel, I mean, dispel, so you can redraw your Pokemon, you can do it. Is, and then, of course, there is the, uh, what is the process of, uh, you know, moving some stuff, if your box is full, it will definitely show you, and then you're just gonna have to just, like, mm, things happen. So, yeah, alright. With that all put together, uh, moving Pokemon without mail, that's basically you can move Pokemon, but if you have mail, you're going to move it. And it sucks. It's probably one of the big features that I hated about the so, things, and also, uh, we can see the door see the phone a little lovely. Oh my god, my god. Oh, sorry. Oh, here. Oh, here. Oh, here. Alright, so, we're done here. Let's move on. Let's click see ya. Uh, Crystal, that's the place where I just face and go out. So, yeah. It has got some points. Alright, it is time to do our first battle. I'm going to be going against the red. I think. Oh, Crystal. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, you guys are so slow. Not just. Anyway, first counter. 
easy thing. If that guy that was behind the fence, it was just crap. You gotta hold on to the lab, what a way. You won't like you. Not even try to say anything, just she's in my way too. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. So, rivals did not have their own battle. Gen 2 fix. This is triple question mark. He sends out Charted Isle. Yeah, this is the guy that had stolen the idols from the Marisa. So, your job, of course, is to reobtain those idols. And. Hmm. Mm hmm. 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 Protecting at all costs. Charted Isle, level 5, with the moon's weird scratch in um, brow. Tata Dial, like I said earlier, is a very mixed attacker. He can play a good game, both offensively and defensively. Why you stretch? But that's the thing. It's like, mm, okay. Um, God, I won't distract you. I mean, I mean, look, it's, it's something. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't mean to do this. Maybe I should miss you today. Yes, I don't even want to do a lot of this. I'm very sorry. I really, you know, you know, I, I love you guys. But I have to take care of me too. So, yeah, this is probably going to be the shortest stream for Pokemon. But at least I got through the first hour. So, we're going to go make our way back to New Bark Town. And I think at that point, once we get stuff moved from New Bark, we will go ahead and, uh... Fuck, what was it? Yeah, we will go ahead and then I will call it a shoot. Yeah, because I'm very tired. I'm, I just, I can't do all the not. I love you guys, but I don't want to do that too. So... When we come back from Mr. Fuji's house, and he was there, but that's at home. Um, and there's a policeman here. Yeah, I know, right? He didn't want to. Uh, he's talking to Professor L about what was going on. Apparently, a young man with red colored hair stole one of Professor L's prize starter Pokemon. What? You seen him in Donald Trainer? Trainer? You even got a chance to get his ID. So, can I be for his trainer? He is known as the However, sometimes you gotta keep things simple. So for this like real, I will call the protagonist of the game Silver, as akin to Silver, the Pokemon trainer in the Uh, sorry, I played through it. So, but not Soccer. Silver. So Silver is his name. Oh. Silver, of course, is one of the children. Well, if you read the manga, Jesus, the manga. You guys gotta read the Pokemon manga to really understand a lot of things. So, his name is Silver. Um, Silver himself is actually, ironically, the first. Uh, uh, um, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, we need therapy. So I think someone's going to be able to show me and receive this egg. I don't have the access to it. Alright. So, yeah. Alright. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, okay, so Elvis is telling us he's very proud of us. Go make him proud. Why don't you go out there and take over the big old world and collect the gym badges? Uh, there's a gym badge in every city that has this gym, and it has to be on that two bars in here. So you can go to, uh, uh, what is that? Yeah, so, uh, things are happening. Okay, so with that said, I believe Professor Allen's uh, A here will also give you something. He gives you Pokeballs! Yeah, this is, ironically enough, Professor Allen is actually get these things from one of the NPCs. Um, that would be better up there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so if I'm not mistaken, if we got a we should have. 
Oh, there you go. My Pokeballs is in your ball pack. Um, it will attain my Pokeballs for you to use to catch Pokemon. Alright, I'm actually gonna say I'm tired. I, I'm sorry, you guys. I would go longer if I just didn't come off of my back, my arms, and everything hurts. So, I'm gonna save it here. And then when we come back, we will return to Pokemon Crystal. And, um... I like to double say, we will go back to Pokemon Crystal at a, at, at probably at a later date because I am supposed to be doing stuff tomorrow. Question mark, I hope. Um, and I, I need to give you guys a proper stream. And I don't want to fall asleep during the stream as I currently was. I love you guys enough not to do that. And unless I really hated myself or hated going through things, then I probably would have done it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not a petty bitch. And I love you guys. I don't want to do that to you. So, I promise most likely Sunday. If not, tomorrow, I'll let you guys know if my plans change. That I will be streaming session 2 of Pokemon Crystal. And, yeah. I cannot wait. Uh, we've already got our starter. We have our Pokeballs. We're basically going to be ready to go get our team. Um, I have not talked about the team. I will talk about it in intervals of teammates to come and things that will affect the team. Um, and yeah, I'm just ready to go through this. So, uh, no raid for today as I, I'm tired as fuck. And I, and I just... Yeah, if you guys want to go find me, go right ahead, send them my love, and I will definitely see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for sticking in for me for at least an hour. I love you guys. And, alright, see you next time. ACJ, signing up. Take care.